crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, Maisie, and Joshua. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi guys, I'm here to do Twin Tuesday, and we are going to be doing another American Girl one. We'll probably be doing American Girl for the next few Twin Tuesdays. Um, basically until we get a chance to do our outfit swap um, where we'll have some more um, matching reborn outfits. So for now we're doing matching um, American Girl. So I have Bella and I thought it would be appropriate to do Bella because um, Bella is the doll that I bought the last time I went to the Mall of, Amer Mall of America to the American Girl store there. Unfortunately, that store has since closed. Um, it actually closed not long after we last went, I believe. Or at least the last time I went. And it's a really, really a shame. Um, it's a beautiful, it was a beautiful store. And I had been there a total of three times? No, not three times, two times because the first time was when I went to see Nicole in 2009 and we went to the Mall of America and that was basically when I was first introduced to American Girl. I saw the store there and I was like, oh my God, I was in heaven, I loved it. I was just so taken up with everything and I bought Julie that day. So, um, yeah, so then the, the next time I went was in 2018 when Nicole, Heather, and I had our little meetup and we went to the Mall of America and we went crazy shopping at American Girl and all that fun stuff. And that's when I bought Bella, who is truly me number 28. Um, I had been wanting her for a while and I, I'm not entirely sure. I thought I heard rumors that they were retiring her. So I'm glad I got her when I did, but look at guys, she is still in her lupus awareness outfit. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get her out of that and I'm going to be changing her into this American Girl shirt that I actually bought the same day I bought her. And Nicole, Heather and I all bought this shirt to have our dolls match together. And it just has a heart and it says BFF AG with their star logo lol and another star and the heart and the bff is in like a turquoisey bluish color the ag part is in red and the lol part is in um like a bright pink and then the collar is red and then it's got these red sequins on the shoulder so i don't know if I don't know if these are the right, uh, if these are the same pants Nicole is going to be using in her Twin Tuesday or not, but I, I'm pairing them with these denim leggings. I'm not sure if she's using the same ones or not, um, but we're definitely going to have the matching shirt. So our shirts will be the same, and I believe we're both going to have our um, BFF, Best Friends Forever, um, friendship bracelets. She, Nicole has the other half of this gold heart. Um, I actually I bought this set of bracelets um, when we were there and we swapped these so or we I gave half to Nicole because it's the best friends thing and then I'm also going to give her these new earrings that I got. Well, these are like an old retired set of earrings, but I just recently got these. Um, and it's a red gem-like stud that has a red heart dangling from it. So I thought those would look cute with this outfit. I'm also going to be pairing them with the teal. These are actually called 
the teal sneakers from I think it's the Truly Me line or maybe it's from the Just Like You line. Can't remember, but I've always loved these shoes. And because it's got that turquoise in there, I think it'll look cute with this shirt. So I'm gonna take off her pink uh, loafers. These are not American Girl brand. These are um, Sophia's. And I can't remember, no, these shoes did not come with this outfit. Um, I just got these shoes either with an outfit that Eden made or I just got the shoes from her booth because she sometimes will just sell shoes. She also sells shoes at her artisan marketplace. So I'm pretty sure they came from Eden. Any of the shoes from Eden are Sophia's brand. And um, this beautiful purple dress came from her auntie Diana. And I had put this um, purple alligator clip that had little butterflies on it to match her dress. And I got this oh, years and years and years ago. There was a local lady. Um, I don't even know if she's still around, but she had a website and you could custom order hair clips and I ordered like a whole bunch of them from her and these were one of them. So I'm gonna take out her other earrings which are the purple bow with the little dangly flower. Gotta be careful not to lose them. I'll put them back on her earring tree after. But I'm slowly running out of room on the earring tree and I'm slowly but surely finding some of the retired American Girl earring sets that I've wanted. Um, I have a couple more on the way. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find full sets, but I'm slowly piecing them together. Like people have like odds and ends. So, and some of them have offered really great prices on them too. So I think, um, when I run out of room on the earring trees, I don't really want to buy more earring trees because they just take up space. So I'll probably just use my keeper because right now my keeper is housing the Etsy American Girl earrings and I, I can just mix them together. It's no big deal. And the little purple dress did come with this purple shirt. And then this American Girl, um, to my surprise, when I got her, she has the perma panties. And uh, the perma panties were a short lived thing, thankfully. Not many people were thrilled with them when they came out. And eventually, American Girl got a lot of, like, so many complaints that they listened and they changed them back to the removable. Now, personally, myself, um, I've seen some where the bum looks really bizarre. Thankfully, mine doesn't look like that. It's it's not like that. And I know I had the option, they had like a trade-in, I think, where you could um, send her in, get her body replaced with the removable underwear for free. But to be honest, I never, I never changed my American Girl's underwear. So to me, it, it, it's, it doesn't really bother me. It looks a little odd. It looks a little uneven, but it's not horrible. Like I can live with it. Um, they're actually coming out, American Girl's coming out with a new set of underwear. They're really cute. It's the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday kind of underwear, you know, like where it has the label on it. And they're really cute. Don't get me wrong, they're adorable. Um, but again, I'm not one to um, change my American Girl's underwear. So for me, I'm not gonna be buying those because I just, I don't have a use for them. I don't change out their underwear. It, it's under their clothes, it's not really seen, so I'm not overly concerned about it. So yeah, these are like little um, jeggings, I guess you can call them. 
They're kind of capris, sort of. They're not all the way down to the ankle. And they're just like tights, but they look denim. But they're not really denim, like they feel like a cotton material. So, now I am going to get her shirt on. It's been cooling down here. It's going to get a little warmer towards the end of this week, and then it's going to go back down again. But the nights have been cold. We've actually had to put our heater on in the bedroom the last two nights. So finally today, I just, I just was like, you know what? Let's just put um, our flannelette um, bed sheet on top of our regular sheets for extra warmth. So hopefully we won't have to put the heater on tonight. We'll just have some nice warm covers. And I've been wearing my long sleeve pajamas at night. So fall is in the air. And I am not complaining about it at all. I'm loving it. And I actually just turned on my little wax melt thing that has... I actually haven't had it on since last fall. It has the fall scent. Pumpkin spice. It smells really good. I thought the smell had um, disappeared and I figured I would just melt it so I can dump it and put something else in it, but um, it still smells a little. Sometimes I find the smell can get a little too strong though, so I don't have it on a lot. Um, okay. up the velcro at the back. Thankfully her hair is very easy to manage because it's so short. Um, let's get her, uh, yeah, let's get her earrings in. So guys, I found, I finally found a reason why Indigo hasn't reopened the doll hair salon? Um, Indigo and America, like the American Girl Boutiques at Indigo came up in a conversation in a Canadian group I'm in. And someone was just asking like, what's going on with Indigo? Why do they have such low stock on everything? Does anyone know? Um, are they going to be like no longer caring American girl? What's going on? Um, which I've been wondering myself too. I've been kind of concerned about that. And then I was like, I don't know. And you know, like some people are mentioning that they notice things on clearance or on sale. Um, and then I also mentioned, I'm like, is it just my store or is everyone else's store also like having the doll hair salon closed? And basically, um, everyone said that no, like all the indigos, um, the doll hair salon is currently closed. And I was just like, does anyone know why, like, or when it's going to reopen? Because... You know, I was like, I don't really understand how come, you know, we're allowed to have, um, she, okay, off track for a minute. I have noticed from the time I got her, she has like an indent in her hair all the way around. And I don't know if it's from being in the wig cap so long, that part of her, um, wig indented in her hair or the hair net indented in her hair but I've kind of considered doing um a quick run of the hair straightener on her hair now that I know how to do it without frying the hair just to get it out because it's always kind of bugged me but whatever her hair is so easy to take care of though like you literally just brush it out and away you go like Short hair dolls are the best for hair care. Although I do find her bangs tend to like want to go in her eyes, which is kind of annoying. But anyway, so I um, 
someone in the group that actually works at Indigo came on and answered the question. So the reason is that they are currently operating on a skeleton staff. So they don't have enough staff, first off, to even run the American Girl Boutique. So that's one reason. Um, because basically, like, to, in order to do the doll hair salon, um, they have to have staff trained in the American Girl um, ear piercing and trained in the American Girl hair salon and like doing the hairstyles and everything. So they're like, because we're on a skeleton staff, um, we don't always have, she's got a pull in her tight. Aww. I'm gonna have to snip that. Anyways, they just said because they're on a skeleton staff, they don't always have um, American Girl trained staff in who could operate the salon. And then because they're a skeleton staff, they just don't, um, sorry guys, that's cut off. No fun. Um, they just don't have the, the ability to do it because what would happen is that person may be working at the cash register and then they're like, there's not enough time to call them to the hair salon, have them do whatever hair salon services are needed because like if the doll needed like a major hair makeover, it could take a while. And they said, and then once they're finished, they have to disinfect like the whole area and they said they just don't have enough time to allow the staff to go and do that and then come back to their usual duties, which um, it kind of makes sense in that I did notice the last few times I was at Indigo um, that they didn't have any staff in the American Girl section like they usually do. So, um, there so basically you know I realized they didn't have staff there and I was wondering if that's what it was um so and then this particular staff member said that she doesn't even agree that um human hair salon should be open reopened yet so um she's like so there's that <laughs> um so who knows when it will reopen. Um, she didn't mention anything about this, but I've heard from other people that have said that Indigo will do ear piercing on if you buy a brand new doll in the store. But this girl never mentioned that, so I have no idea if, if that's available at the stores I go to. I guess it wouldn't hurt to ask because I'm just thinking ahead to when I go and get Courtney, I'm gonna want her ears pierced. And if I'm buying her their new in box, then they should be able to do it. But who knows? I, I really don't know. So that's kind of crappy. So no one really knows when that'll happen. I'm not sure I really fully understand why they're on um Sorry, I'm doing the old mom thing here in using my spit to tame her flyaways. <laughs> How many of you had your mom do that to you when you were a kid? Put spit in your hair. <laughs> well, she's gonna fall over. Um, yeah. Okay, so there she is. There's Miss Bella, looking so pretty. Um, Let's see if, uh, maybe if I, that's as zoomed out as I can get. Okay, let's back her up so you can get an overview of her whole outfit as a whole. So there she is. So yeah, as I was saying, I don't really understand why they're on a skeleton staff. Um, 
I guess maybe they're just not getting enough business right now in store due to COVID. I don't know. Um, it's unfortunate because I feel like with Courtney coming out, as well as um, there's supposed to be some more new items coming out or at the same time that Courtney gets into stores this coming week or next week. This week or next week? Um, I think it's this week. Is it? I think it's on f Thursday or Friday is when Courtney will be available in American Girl stores in the U.S. And then October 1st is when she'll be available at Indigo. But there's also supposed to be a whole bunch of other new things coming out for I, Julie's getting a new outfit. Um, who else? Julie gets a new outfit. Melody gets a new outfit. Both of them are gorgeous. Julie's getting an eight ball, a pet rock and a lava lamp. It's like her birthday gift set or something like that. And the dress is her birthday dress, I believe. And... I saw that Welly Wishers is coming out with these adorable snowsuits, snowsuits for their, um, for the Welly Wishers. Looks so cute. I can't, I have to get it. Um, what else did I see? A bathrobe set. I'm not interested in it, but it's coming out. So there's going to be a whole new release and they just also like a month or so ago, came out with new things that still have to make their way over to Canada. So I'm my hope is that, oh, this was the other thing the employee told us. So the reason that our Indigo American Girl boutiques are so low stock is that apparently things have been getting held up at customs. And so their shipments have been really slow coming in. So my hope is that if they're aiming to have, like if they're saying that Courtney's gonna be available at Indigo October 1st, then my guess is they've already sent it out and the shipment's on the way. And so my hope is that when sure her shipment comes, all the other shipments for all the other new stuff will come with her. And then we'll have like a very stocked um, American Girl Boutique and I can't wait like to go and check it all out. But who knows? But that's my hope. And um, so my whole thing is is like, they're missing an opportunity because there's all this new stuff coming out and it's starting to get close to the holidays and I feel like there's going to be a lot of kids like wanting to get things for the holidays and they're wanting they're going to want to take their dolls to the hair salon. So I feel like they're missing out on a good opportunity. So it's, I hope that they're not going to be on skeleton staff much longer not just for the American girl aspect, but just for even the employers, um, you know, or employees, I should say, so that they can get back to their normal work. Anyways, there's Bella. And you can't really see her shirt with her hair forward. Let's see the back. Oh, her earrings got twisted up. There we go. Um, I did learn that you can pierce their ears yourselves, yourself. I learned how to do it. Basically, what American Girl does is they drill a hole in the ear with a drill, an actual power drill. They drill a hole in the ear for the earrings to fit in. Um, I found out what size drill bit you're supposed to use. <laughs> I got instructions from the groups I'm in on exactly how to do it, and I'm a little nervous to try it, but I just might do it because A, I'm impatient to wait for the hair salon to open, and B, I could save a lot of money because they charge $16 per doll for ear piercing. And I have four dolls for sure that I want their ears pierced and possibly a fifth one. So I was talking to Alex about it and he thinks it should be easy to do, but I'm a little nervous. So we're going to, I'm going to try and figure it out and try and psych myself up to try it. <laughs> so 
we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'll let you know if I decide to do it because that would save me a lot of money. Plus, when you get them, when you get their ears pierced, you always get the same set of earrings. And I already have two of that same set. I don't need five more of the same set of earrings. <laughs> so I'm really thinking that I could do it myself and just use the earrings I have. And you literally are just like, I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but anyway, take an earring out. Like they literally just drill a really small hole in there. And then their earrings are like these thick posts and you just stick it in. And I don't know, I'm seriously considering it. But there she is, there's her shirt. She looks really cute. She's ready for the fall. And shall we zoom in on her face before we go? There we go. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Nicole's video. I believe she is dressing her American girl named Keisha. I believe that's what she told me, is that she's dressing Keisha in this outfit or at least in this shirt and bracelet don't know if our pants and shoes are the same <laughs> so we're definitely twinning on the shirt thanks so much for watching guys go check out nicole's channel and subscribe bye